Hey, would you like to draw and paint this floral wreath with me? Come join me and learn to use watercolor graphite pencils in a different way. In this session, we will take some basic floral and botanical elements and put them together into this beautiful wreath. I will also show you how to use these graphite pencils because there are some pretty cool techniques. If you want to know more about the products and their correct application, you can check out my previous video. If you face problems with the sketch, feel free to download the template at stedler.com. All the materials I'm using today are also linked in the description box below. First of all, I want to sketch an oval and I use uh, 4B to do this, it's the hardest one. Now we've got our oval, I will show you the first technique. Bring some of the pigments of the, gra of the graphite onto a scrap piece of paper. And next I take my brush, load it with water and use the graphite just like watercolor paints. I want to have a really soft gray for my flowers and I'm testing it here. Yes, I think this looks good. Now I go in with the brush and load it with this pigment and water and just create some florals. And I'm starting uh, with some light pressure and then pushing the brush onto the page and dragging it across the page to create some petals. I just go around in the circle and some of them are maybe a little bit um, yeah, smaller and also thinner and some of them are thicker. You can really paint as you would do it with normal watercolor paints. Yeah, let's add some of the florets at random spots of this oval. If I would like to have a darker color, I can go in and solve more of the graphite, load it until the tip of my brush and release it to the wet surface. I think this is also a cool effect you can do with this graphite pencils and do some smaller and some bigger ones. Next I want to add some big leaves and I'm using this sec uh, the graphite pencil in sec 6B to do this. This technique you draw with your pencil first and later go in with water and dissolve the pigment or the graphite. So I'm just using some simple forms like maybe almonds or something and they are sometimes tucked behind the flowers. Now I take my brush, load it with water again and just want to have a softer transition, so I, I dissolve gra the graphite and use it to create kind of shadows or yes, depth. You don't have to do this with every single leaf. It's just fine if you leave some the way they are. And I like to go from light to dark. Next, I will use a really soft pencil, the one in 8B, 
to create some extra leaves, smaller leaves and also to add some berries. The smaller leaves you can do something like a fern which is only one curved line and then you add smaller lines to each of the sides. And it's totally fine if your lines are wonky uh, because that's normal. You can also go over your painted flowers as if the flower is placed behind, just behind this leaf, which is also a cool effect because we go from light to dark. Now we add some berries with our watercolor graphite pencil in 8B. I want them to be really dark and I love berries because you can fill in any gaps you have and also to balance out your composition you just have to make some small circles and remember they don't have to be perfect. You can group them and place them on random spots. Some are a little bit smaller and some are bigger. Maybe they also lie or are tucked behind each other. You can add stems if you would like to, so to join the berries together. But sometimes I leave them the way they are because I think this looks really light and yes, also good, even if it's not possible in nature. But that's the great thing about creativity and art. You can do it the way you want. Nature is just an inspiration, but you can be creative and make all of it. Um, so if you would like to have your berries without a stem, then it's okay. As you can see, they get really dark. And you go in with water and pop. You can also use the graphite on your on your brush tip and create some berries that are lighter. Now let's add some final details and outlines to our floral wreath. I start with the center of the flower and add just a few scribbly motions uh, to get this dark uh, color. And I also want to do some outlines. But you don't have to, to have to surround every petal. It looks great if you're just doing a few strokes or something maybe like a folded petal. This is really a scribbly motion. And as a last step, I want to add some fun little details in gold. I take my metallic pen and add a few dots to the, to the center of the flowers. And I also add small dots in groups as if it is a grass or something. So now we created just a part of a leaf, which can look very interesting. Maybe if you add a lettering or something, or if you close it just with one stroke. Uh, you can also put the flowers and floral elements all around the wreath. So you've got this oval shape, but I think this is pretty too. I would love to see your results. Follow us on Instagram at Stedler. Tag your drawing with the hashtag MyDesignJourney to get featured. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button and check my other watercoloring tutorials for beginners.